हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस म्योक दिस इज श्रावणी श्री रामोजू इन केस ऑफ स्टैटिक फोर्स एनालिसिस द इफेक्ट ऑफ इनर्शिया फोर्सेस दैट आर आइज ड्यू टू मास ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड सो लेट अस कंसिडर द फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन द ए सी इंजन मैकेनिज्म एफ पी इज अ पिस्टन एफर्ट विच इज अ नेट एक्जियल फोर्स एक्टिंग अलॉन्ग द लाइन ऑफ स्ट्रोक एफ क्यू एफ क्यू इज अ फोर्स दैट इज एक्टिंग अलॉन्ग द कनेक्टिंग रॉड एंड एफ एन दिस इज इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज पिस्टन साइड थ्रस्ट it is a normal reaction that will be acting on the cylinder wall and coming to this ft is a tangential force acting at the crank pin and fr is a radial force acting on the crank shaft and t will be the crank effort which is the torque on the crank shaft that will be obtained by multiplying ft and the length of the crank which is small r let us develop relations for all the forces fp fq fn ft fr and finally also find t let us first find the axial force acting on the piston which is nothing but piston effort piston effort is a net force that will be acting on the piston along the line of stroke so if we consider the free body diagram of piston uh, the gas force because from our figure the gas is on to the left side of the piston so let fg be the gas force or force by the gas acting on the piston then depending on whether the piston is moving towards idc or away from idc whether it is rightward or leftward be depending on that the inertia force and frictional resistance exists so because uh, in the market or anywhere the specifications will be in terms of gas pressure only not in the terms of gas force so let pg be the gas pressure that is acting on the piston taken in the newton per meter square and fg is the gas force acting on piston taken in newtons and we know that force is nothing but pressure into area of cross section so let capital a be the cross sectional area of the cylinder taken in meter square so let this be pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of cylinder in meters and let fi be the inertia force due to the reciprocating part here the reciprocating part is piston or slider so this is taken in newtons in static force analysis we consider the mass of reciprocating parts we will not consider the mass of uh, connecting rod so we will have fi due to piston so fi can be written as mass into acceleration mass of the reciprocating part mr into acceleration of piston ap So let this be taken in meter per second square, 
and from our previous derivations previous videos we know that ap can be given as r omega square into cos theta plus cos 2 theta by small n which is obliquity ratio and let rf be frictional resistance or simply friction taken in newton so here we will have two cases one when the piston when i am considering the piston to be moving towards idc meaning that the piston is its motion is rightward it is under acceleration fg is always here because gas is always on the left side from our diagram so uh, frictional resistance and uh, inertia force both will be opposing motion so we will have inertia force acting uh, leftward and also frictional resistance acting leftward so the net axial force acting on the piston when the piston is in acceleration can be given as fp is equal to if i am considering rightward forces to be positive then it will be fg minus fi minus rf this is nothing but uh, pressure into area minus fi is mr into fi is mr into ap ap is nothing but r omega square into cos theta plus cos 2 theta by n minus rf so if at all we want to write it in full terms it is pressure into pi by 4 d square minus mr r omega square into cos theta plus cos 2 theta by n minus rf so this is the piston effort this is the net force acting on the piston when the piston is moving rightward or towards idc which is acceleration the other case is when the piston is moving away from idc say the motion is away from idc so this is retardation but again since the gas is on the left of piston the force will be from left only so this is fg and of inertia and friction both will oppose the motion so rf and fi are along fg or a reverse to motion direction so here we will have net axial force or piston effort as fg plus fi plus rf this is nothing but pg into pi by 4 d square plus mass of reciprocating part into r omega square into cos theta plus cos 2 theta by n plus rf or simply in general fp can be written as fg minus or plus fi minus or plus rf we have just come this is a combination of both the cases when the piston is in acceleration and retardation so when it is in acceleration we have fg minus fi minus rf when it is in retardation it will be fg plus fi plus rf so this uh, equation is used only for horizontal engine horizontal engine is the figure that is shown in the beginning so that is a horizontal in engine in case of a vertical engine the effect of weight of reciprocating part is also considered 